Nicole with AccessoryEtsy.com and I'm back again today with a couple more projects to share with you. A couple more of the soft slash hard semi whatever covered books <laughs> um, that are covered with, um, they're made from a, a standard thick kind of a cardstock and then covered with uh, cardstock pretty uh, patterned papers. And so um, there are two today. The one on the left is called Chronicle, and it's more of an archivist type journal. And then the one on the right is more toward leans more towards nature. There's birds and butterflies and bees and flowers and so that kind of thing. So two totally different kinds of journals. Well, let me show you the first one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me show you Chronicle. Um, there is a dictionary page with Chronicle with the definition of Chronicle behind the, the main tag here and a little calligraphy pen nib. And the, the paper has um, some stamp images on the script, kind of pretty. And then the back there is a rose graphic on the back with the script. On the spine we've got some seam binders ribbon and a little vintage uh, garment tag with a printed piece of linen. And then of course all of the tea dyed um, seam binders ribbon up here holding the clips and it closes with the seam binders ribbon again. I love the color that this um, ends up dyeing and it usually goes real well. I, I lean towards the gold tones anyway. <clears throat> so on the inside We've got this little um, library pocket here with a, a library card in it and behind I left it open behind too so that there's a little a coin envelope and there's a little shipping tag back here. Here is um, some card stock with some neat uh, mechanics graphics on it and I left it blank on the back because I thought that'd be a great photo mat. Some very old map pages some ledger that was printed out onto some tea stained copy paper or <laughs> onto some tea stained paper. <laughs> There's a little bit of stamping. Here's a pocket here and some graph paper. Here's one of those petal envelopes that open up and then there's a flea on the back of that. a dictionary page, uh, Italian, I believe. <laughs> a little trifold journaling spot, and some sheet music. There's an old newspaper printed out onto some uh, copy stained newsprint. And there's some ledger paper folded out there. Another shipping tag. Another trifold there. A little train ticket. Lots of room to write. Here's a little pocket on this side. So there is a time card and another shipping tag, and it's got um, like newspaper graphic on it. photograph and some tickets and then there's a little pocket here on the back of that. On this side there is a small booklet that I've made that fits in the back and I tucked that right in there. And then on the back page we have this little corner pocket with a journaling trifold little card and a shipping tag. So there is one chronicle. This one has a graphic of some bird cages and some skeletonized leaves and some birds and then the dictionary page back under here, if I can get it to focus, I don't know if it's going to focus well, it says nature. Oh, so there it goes. 
And so um, on up here, I've made this image into kind of a tag, and then I've clipped on another little tag. And then it's got some pretty coordinating interesting fibers. There were some pretty colors in here, so I tried to kind of mimic those when all of the pretty things up in here in the top that have the paper clips. And again, the the eyelets with the seam binders ribbon. Oh, and this is what the back looks like with the butterflies and the handwritten script behind it. So let's open this one. And this one has a pocket in the front with a large tag. I'll have to count the pages. I believe there's at least 65, perhaps 70. I think there's 70, close to 70. I will count them, put that in the listing. Pocket there. Some old seed packet graphics. Some dictionary paper and some old ledger printout. Another one of those newspapers. It's a shipping tag with a, a leaf on it. And some graph paper. And some accounting paper. And there's a pocket with a little trifold journaling spot here. Got a lot of neat graphics on this old dictionary paper. And there's a pocket with a, a whale image in there. A little seed packet. Another little pocket here. And then a big pocket in the back. So that is this one. I hope you all enjoyed these two. I also hope that everybody um, has enjoyed my digital kits. Um, I've been a photographer for about a decade and so, and I've been a Photoshop hack for even longer than that. So, um, it was a, a very easy transition. Um, once you know what you like, then it's, it's easy for, I mean, I put together what I like. Um, so I hope you all like it too. I really like the vintage images and I like the collages and I like the dirty look of some of the, the grungy papers. And anyway, so I'm putting together things that I like and I hope, I hope you guys like them too. They're fun to put together. They're a lot of work, um, but once they're once they're done, they're certainly easy to print out at any time. You just save them, and they're there for for the using any time. No coffee staining if you don't want to. They're just used print them. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are liking those too. And I've got some other things in the works in my head um, that may or may not come to fruition pretty soon this summer. I hope. But anyway, hope everybody is having a fantabulous summer. And thank you so, so much for stopping by my channel and checking out the newest projects. And um, I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.